Hey there, it is time for another edition of Styling with the Soap Witch, Wash and Go. Um, and this one is a special annual edition as it is going to be my year over year comparison. This one is from February 2021 versus this February 2022. So overall looking at just the hair health and hair growth and the differences. So the products that I use in 2022 version are the brand new whip shampoo, the curling cream or styling cream, moisturizing spray, um, I said that in wrong order, um, <laughs> the uh, deep dish conditioning hair mask, and the, what did I use? Gel, sea moss gel, okay. Now, now that I've got my mouth together, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I am. Um, here's on the left is 2021 and on the right is 2022 so here I'm just thoroughly wetting my hair as I always do so that I can wash but I like to saturate thoroughly saturate my hair beforehand because it gives a better lather and you have to use less shampoo like like win-win right all right so on the left I'm using my discontinued shampoo bar and on the right I'm using my brand new whipped shampoo so the differences there really are that um, overall the whipped shampoo is sort of a whipped version of the shampoo bar I used all of the same ingredients overall give or take a very small percentage to make the bar whippable um, but I loved the bar so I didn't really want to change much um, but it's easier to manufacture um, and quicker to get out for customers and, and it's just way more fun actually okay so <laughs> moving on um, here I am going to deep condition with the same deep conditioning hair mask tinting tonic that I have been using for a year and a half or so it's been a while um, so it is still my saving grace one of the best things that's ever happened to me wonderful not me being dramatic at all um, but yeah, so on the left, you'll see I had moved to finger detangling and the previous year, I think I have been using a detangling brush. So of course, why not have even more changes? And this year I am actually using a detangling comb because I feel like, um, there was less stress on the hair and it mixed with the conditioner gave better slip because of the texture material of the comb. And then after I comb it out and detangle, I go through and finger comb each section and then bang two knot it. Cause I think the finger combing helps the curls to clump back up, especially on the ends. I say, I pay, oh my God, sorry. I pay special attention to the ends. Okay. so moving along maybe no we're moving along with the conditioning is what we're doing so I'm going to do all four sections of hair and band two knots on the left I think I ended up just like braiding or twisting um, each side like each half um, and then even later on taking those down <laughs> and separating it into four parts which I think I realized was counterproductive in which I started just doing it in four parts to begin with um, and so yeah that's what's happening there just gonna finish up that last band two knot and I have a moment uh, to myself and then move on <laughs> so here I am taking them down and the way that I do this is I take one part down I rinse said part and then I apply all products to absolutely stopping soaking wet hair and that is so that it doesn't have time, especially since I have high porosity, so it doesn't have time to dry in frizz before I actually get the products on there. So on the left, I believe I am just using a leave-in conditioner, the curl cream, and then I am using the CMOS gel on top. On the right, I am actually using the spray moisturizing spray that I just created and I'm still using the curl cream and I'm using the sea moss gel um, the spray as a fairly new product as well I um, saw another youtuber who has brilliant beautiful amazing hair goals that said she used an aloe vera spray in her hair to help um, retain moisture and I thought I would do the same 
best decision I ever made. So on the right, you have the finished wet look already happening there. And I just like to have a towel there because it's just drippity drip drip and it annoys me. So also it helps when I go to blow dry. <laughs> so I don't burn myself with the diffuser, which has happened a few thousand times. So I also like to kind of pat it dry with a towel, and then I like to blow dry now with the diffuser. Before, I just used to let it air dry, so on the left, those are those wet results. I used to leave a whole lot more residue in my hair or a product left in my hair, whatever you want to call it. Now I don't so much anymore. So um, here is the finished look for both. Let me know what you think in the comments, left to right. Um, I really think the right side is improved, healthier, stronger, longer hair. Um, so yeah, that's that. So thanks for stopping by. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I would totally appreciate it. And I will see you next time.